gentlemen, now for the official introduction, the fighter fighting on the red corner, weight is 67.7. He's 19, stands 5'9". He fights out of SBG Bishop Auckland and hails from Bishop Auckland, Luke Penberthy. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 56.7. He's 24, stands 5-7. He fights out of Aspire and Hills from Liverpool, Scott Johnson. Your referee, Mr. Simon Stadnitsky. Well, Dean's cage door set to close on this first of our amateur title matches. Scott Johnson, the Aspire fighter, fighting out of the blue corner, the black Aspire Combat Academy shorts, taking on Luke Penberthy, SBG South Shields, in the black SBG shorts. Two great camps, two great young fighters, and the almighty championship on the line. Yep. Just corrected there, sorry, Steve. SBG Bishop Auckland, oh, good, there's Luke sorry. Penberthy. But yeah, Luke's, Luke's a real good, solid young prospect, only 19 years old, already got a lot of fights under his belt. Up against Scott Johnson, who's a, a seasoned veteran of the amateur circuit, someone who's maybe considering moving into the pro ranks sometime soon, so good matchup again. Yeah, e evenly matched opponents, great camps, and oh, shin to shin wow. there, and that made oh, me win. That, that hurt my shin, that. But you, you always notice with these more ex experienced fighters, Steve, you'll see they'll, they'll take more time to feel each other out. Yeah. They won't start as quick. Yeah, they'll look, they'll look to see where the distance is. They'll look to see what the range and how their opponent is moving before committing to anything exactly. big. Exactly. Try and get a read on the techniques that the opponent's using, or is there something we can pick oh. up? That Ste was a good right hand. Yeah, step through with a nice right hand. And throughout that 15 seconds was just backing Scott inch by inch up as well. Throwing the spinning techniques, the long range yep, techniques, yep. making Scott back to the cage. Keeping Scott Gaston as well. Not much that, as you, as you point out, there's not much though that Scott won't have seen in the cage or in training and it's just about making those adjustments in the fight now. It's all about putting it all together, mate, and it, it's something I talk about constantly to the guys and it's, it's all about decision making. That's what win and losers fights on the day. Nice, Scott now attacking his own body lock. Yeah, pulls his man to the ground, like, very nice to get the position. Nice, good take down for Scott, pretty even on the feet, so nice to see someone take it by the scruff of the neck. Absolutely, and again, had to work to get the position, was up against the cage, had to get himself off. Luke's particularly good off his back, in my opinion, though. He's got a great armbar, a great triangle. He's got several submissions on his record, so this is where Scott needs to be very careful. And he's got a lot, he's got a, a bit of length on Scott as well. Longer legs, exactly. longer arms, so from the back, making things like tying up the triangle or bringing the guard up he, high a little bit easier. He's got the perfect frame to, to attack submissions and create leverage. And straight away, we see him starting to pull he, up he, he, mission he, control. Is that what yeah, he's doing here? He likes like the Goga Plata, the Oma Plata, as you can see now, he's trying to work his foot in front of Scott's face. Scott needs to keep his head jammed up tight and loose the well of his neck or up against the cage to stop that foot coming over to, to threaten the Oma Plata or the Goga Plata, Steve. Well, good defense there. I'd like to see Scott use his head position a little bit more aggressively, drive it into the, the face of Luke. Yeah, cover Luke's mouth with his hand. Chipped Just away there with the make, body, body head. Make it a bit more horrible for the person on the bottom. Luke threatening the triangle. Yeah, trying to throw it a, throw up high again. But too little too late but that's I suppose that's gonna keep that's it's gonna keep the opponent thinking when they yep. engage on the ground you've got to be aware good first round both guys will be feeling warmed into the fight now it's, you know in my opinion Scott's around there but not much between them so far it's you know, it'll be again it'll be interesting to see what little alterations each of them each of them make because as you point out not all one-way traffic that nope. round. They both nope. had their moments. What helps Scott Johnson is he started to come into the end, into the ascendancy near the end of the round. And yep. I don't care who you are as a judge or a human, and you look at who's. Of course, of course. So again, great timing in terms of getting the position. I can see Davy Grant just asking for a little bit more from from Luke on the feet as well. 
Yeah, he w he'll want him to set stuff up. He won't want him to rush his work. Obviously unafraid to throw the big spinning techniques is Luke Pemberthy, so. Young and fearless, mate. That's what these guys are. Cage door set, round two here. The, the chess match should intensify from here on now. Nice low kick from Scott. Tell you what, Luke's done well at countering Scott's low kicks. Every time Scott low kicks, Luke answers back with something. Oh. Chopped the leg again there. Now they're exchanging those low kicks. And both looking for the calf. Not going to the thigh. No. Five or six of them land clean on that calf, mate, and your mobility is seriously affected. Well, I'd start, I mean, only a couple have landed and he's starting to mark up the left leg of Luke Pembethy. It's really low. Pembethy looked like he was rolling for a leg there, yeah. but Johnson wise to it. Scott's got really good control. He's patient. He puts it together well, and he's showing that here again. I think, I think Luke maybe rushed that, tried to force the issue. Gabe's, Gabe's got the body up, roll for the knee bar, but for me, it that wasn't a smart move. Decision making, what we talked about before, but that might just be age. The guy's 19. He has worked really hard to get that butterfly back in. He's also brought the that high mission control up again, so he's not content just to no, stay on his back. He's going to make Scott work for everything. He's making Scott's life harder. And Scott's got to be, be working on top as well. You know, the, the judges here won't, won't, won't just give you... Oh, well, he won't always give you the round just because you're sitting in the guard. Absolutely. We've, we've spoke to a couple of judges lately when we've, we've had some decisions go against us, and, you know, the guy said there wasn't enough offense on top, and the guy on the bottom was fishing for submission, so we gave it that way. So, you know, the game is changing, and just sitting on top Isn't is enough. not enough. And, but uh, that's nice, that It's got to be reassuring well, for the it, guys it, who... It, it doesn't have to be punches. Steve Scott just passed the half guard. This, this is This is advancing his technique, yeah. advancing his position. You know, the judges... Just not settling. Exactly. Off, off, just not lying forward. on top and hoping hoping for the bell to ring. But but Scott's in half guard now anyway. Softening Luke up with, with some small strikes. I'd like to see him maybe think about posture. He's thinking about it now. There we go. That's what we need. We yeah. need something a little bit more convincing. But, but he's not willing to, he's not willing to, get, to sacrifice the position to no. raise up to land no. the big shot if it's not there. And again, that just shows a good fight IQ. It, you can't with a guy like Luke Pemberthy. You, you, you can't make those mistakes. We, we've seen a couple of fights earlier. We've seen guys dominate and then be tapped with an armbar out of nowhere. So Scott, Scott is wise to that for now. For now. And uh, Pemberthy still continuing to work hard from the bottom. Trying to make Scott he's got make that little mistake, but Scott staying smart. Luke's got a single butterfly now. I'd like to see him be a little bit more aggressive with that butterfly. He's still using the left leg, which is up the back. But for me, he'd have been better used enough to try and create some space between him and Scott. Oh, looking to try and lock in a Kimura, yeah, perhaps? Yeah, he's thinking about the Kimura position here. Great oh, defense Scott from Scott really finishing the round strong. Yeah, just landing a few shots from that top position, and again... Yeah, I think Scott's got the wrestling on Luke here. Luke's got to come a bit, little bit more to a striker now. He's got to change it up a little bit. Scott's answered the questions he's asked so far. What different questions has he got? Yeah, that's it. I mean, he, he's tried the mission control. He's tried the things that perhaps ca might catch other fighters off guard. That hasn't worked, and he needs to find another tool in his belt. Scott's been putting some hard work in, no working for the takedowns. Maybe Luke might have a little bit more energy at this point. It's not nice being on your back, but it's not as energy consuming than it is chasing takedowns, which Absolutely. is what Scott's done a little bit more of. So, But I think the Aspire corner team there will be letting Scott know he's two rounds up. This is this is his fight to lose now. Yes, absolutely. It's it's. We, we, we take this next round, and, and, and Penberth, he's got to be looking for a stoppage, in my opinion. But this is a kid who can pull one out the bag, believe me. That's it, again, yeah. It, 19 can't. as well, mate, with some of the young talents on show tonight. Oh, it's frightening. It's insane, frightening. Insane, insane. Third round. These two young fighters touch gloves. Scott Johnson, again, fighting out of the blue, blue corner, the black shorts. Maybe, maybe Luke is looking a little bit fresher, maybe. Scott letting himself get backed up onto the cage. This yeah. happened in both both rounds. Oh, that was a nice left hook from Scott. Uh, yeah. Met Luke on the way in with that. 
little bit static from Scott for me. He should be moving laterally a little bit more this way. Division's all about speed. These guys need to move. I mean, look, I mean, he's hammering that lower leg. And it looks to me that there's a bit of swelling already starting on the calf. Oh, yeah. So you can keep, yeah. We, can, we can see a big lump on Luke, Luke's yeah. shin there. Uh, it came, I mean, it started to swell up almost immediately after. Again, just forcing the takedown, Lou. He's obviously, he's unafraid to be on he's his He's unafraid back, to so be on his he's back. he's happy to pull him, but, but yep. he's got to do something with it now. Yep, I think he's got to change his tactics a little bit. I mean, you can control your man here, but if you do nothing other than control, you are still on, in a you're still in a position where you're being dominated. Yep. Your back is to the mat, and you're doing nothing. And if we think about octagon control, Steve, this is not where Luke wants to be. So yeah. if you're a judge, you're looking at a guy who wants to be on top, but he's on bottom. Which means Scott Johnson, at the moment, is executing his game plan that little bit better. Absolutely. And again, good, good positioning of the opponent there by Johnson. He's get forces Luke Hamilton's his head up against the cage, makes that movement a little more difficult. Davy Grant consistently calling for Luke to get back to his feet. Uh, you know, I know that's where he wants him. He wants him back on his feet, where he can be the guy chasing the takedown, or at least working a strike, because he's been all on his own on the feet. It's been a well-matched fight on the feet, but Scott, the, the bigger gap in level seems to be in the wrestling, Steve. Yeah, and, and, and the control. It's... It, it's uh, Every opportunity he gets to land something, whether it's a little chopping hammer fist, a shot to the body, Scott's just picking away, staying busy enough that the referee isn't going to look to change the position at all. But still working from the bottom. They doing well from the bottom, staying busy, constantly moving his hips, constantly trying to give Scott something to think about. He's threatening jujitsu. I'd like to see him when Scott postures to avoid the. the the submission attack, that's Luke's opportunity to try and change the yeah. position. Is he just going to try and pull slowly into the triangle here? He yes, is. he is. Oh, 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 have we got... Is there enough space? I can't quite you, can see there's, you can see there's room at the moment, but if he can... I don't think either. I think both arms are in this position. Yeah. So it's not a, a standard triangle. We've got this, this arm coming across the back. Maybe that's cutting into Scott's carotid artery here and cutting off the blood flow. Well, Looked like a submission attempt to me. Yes, it did. Looked like, and it looked like it was tight for a moment. I do feel like Scott's three rounds up now, though, Steve. Oh yeah, the tight. Yes, I, I, I would agree. It, it, it's all on. It's all on Pemberton now. To and what do you got to lose? Just mix it up. What have you got to lose? You're three rounds down. Let's let's not keep doing the same thing. Let's let's take a chance. And let's see if we can catch Scott Johnson off his rhythm. But great, great three rounds for Scott so far, showing, showing the sort of decision making you want from a guy who's thinking about transitioning from yeah. the, the amateur ranks into the pro ranks. He's, he's been the, the, the UKFC champion. He's, he's fighting for the Almighty Belt again tonight. Um, so this is a guy who's, you know, he's, 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 he's accustomed to title fights in the amateur ranks now. You can see his decision making skills as well. Like you can see the growth. Yep. Over yep. And the do you know what, mate? Years. That that decision making often comes from experience of bad decision making. Yep. So, you know, Luke's certainly learning more than Scott is about himself right now. See if Luke does anything different again. He's got a bit. He's the rangier of the two opponents, but he does let Scott in. Oh. I'd like, I'd like the, to see Scott move laterally a little bit more. Again, mate, Luke's, Luke's being aggressive on the feet. He's pressuring. He's trying to make something happen. He's, he's trying to finish the fight. Uh, he listened well to his corner he there does, as he, he was does. coming in. He was told, break off, break off. Yep. He did, but now got Prop within Clint's range. And Props to Luke here for actually going out and, and, and taking the fight to Scott. Now he is trying something yeah, different. Yeah, he's got the arm looking... Uh, there's no arm bar there, but no, certainly but try to pull it around for the Khmer, but nice positioning there. Looking for the sweep here. Can he get a sweep? Can he get a sweep? Oh, nice. It's close. Good work oh. by Scott just to reset back on top. Yeah, that was good awareness. And he's going to reset himself now. 
And he could really sit down in that half guard if he wanted. He yeah, could. right right now we've got Luke Scott to shin across the hip, so he's using a bit of a Z guard. He doesn't want Scott to sit right into that half guard position. Now we're in the half guard position, Steve. There we go. Scott got his head more to the armpit. I'd like to see him bring his head into the well of the neck. Is he looking to try and set up the head and arm? Was that the... Maybe, maybe, but to be honest, mate, I think he's just settling into being on top now. I think he wants to beat Luke up from the top position, but again, as we said before, mate, he's, he's, he's very conscious, he's mindful that he doesn't want to lose position or offer someone like Luke Pemberthy even a sniff of a submission. Well, Pemberthy's still working to try and, get, try and lock up that arm. Trying to roll him. Yep, Scott's on the back. Scott's excellent on the back, I must say. Scott's re naked choke's probably his best weapon, so. One hook in as this, well. This, Pulls. This net. could be a bad position and for And then turns it into the body triangle as well. Starts to chip away with shots. I'd like to see him flatten out. If you look, the body triangle's actually hooked on the inside yep. of the leg. Yep. It's a great position for control. And now, yeah, just both I, hooks in. I, I really think Scott should be looking for a finish here. L Luke's, Luke's obviously still in the fight, but if you think about this from a psychological standpoint, Steve, not much has gone his way. Absolutely, and, and standing up from here is going to prove difficult. You are going to put yourself in a vulnerable yeah, position exactly, to get up. Exactly, I think from, a, from, a, you know, from Scott's perspective now, he, he, he can start taking a risk with four rounds up now. Oh, big shot there. Oh, another... Hammer fist, 10 seconds left. Controlling the back position now, trying to chip away, land some big yep. shots. Oh, and that one got through. Clinic so far yeah. from Scott Johnson once we hit the mat. Dangerous Davy Grant there, telling him, let's get your breath under control, let's start thinking. If, if you want someone giving you advice in the corner, mate, that's exactly the type of person you want giving you advice. Someone like Davy Grant, he's been around the sport for a long time. He's had some great results in the UFC yeah. as of late as well, which has been great to watch as a fan. Oh, and one of the nicest guys in MMA. So I'm sure over the next few years we're going to be hearing a lot more about SPG Bishop Auckland. Oh, one tribe, one vibe, as they say. Yep. And again, Luke, Luke, Luke Penberthy, this is a title fight. He's currently... He's currently losing, but guess what? This kid's career is literally just starting. Absolutely. This is this is the beginning. And against a, a well-versed, a well-schooled amateur, this ain't his first rodeo. Yeah, no, Scott's clearly one of the top flyweights in the UK. It's, there's no doubt he's in the top handful of flyweights in the UK right now at amateur level. So, you know, we've got three minutes left now. Scott's got to stay composed. I mean, the cardio Luke, on Luke both of these fresh. athletes. Yeah, Luke they both. Fresh. Oh, and he's traveling in with intention, but oh, nice. unfortunately, the rush. I've seen David Grant apologize there. I think maybe he asked for that there, but listen, you've got to take a chance. Nothing four ventured, rounds nothing down. gained, right? Nothing to apologize for there. That's exactly the type of advice Luke needs now. He's got to try and force it now. Absolutely. Now, oh! And as you say that, Just he his head, throws there's, there's, it up. There's no arm in there, Steve, but you can still create some discomfort on someone, but there's no arm in, so I don't believe there's a submission. But now's the time to force That's it. That's it. Now's the time to take silly chances. Can, can, he, can he use this to, like, what is, it's not I a mean, submission's not on, so what's I he I don't believe to? so. I think at best he can try and achieve a better position from the scramble. Well, it's, it's got him to close guard, Steve. To, yeah. And now he's... Still, it's, it's a it's a fairly high guard. He's got his keeping those yep. knees up by the shoulders. So Scott's got to be careful with the angle of his head. This is this you can see Luke pushing on the head now. That's to try and help bring this leg over the front of his face. He's he's working for it again. Scott's fighting to bring it back inside. But again, look, Scott Scott can rest on his laurels here, and this can just slip on a flip on its head in, in one second. So. Scott's got to stay smart here. He's got to stay vigilant. Yeah, got to, got to stay. But he's in. But he's on, in no position where he needs to make any foolish. No, he or doesn't rash. need to panic, mate. He needs to just stick with it. Stick with what he's been doing. Now he's past the guard. That Kamora is even more threatening. In half guard, it's less dangerous. Again, tries to bring that knee shield up. But Scott Johnson just trying to step behind. Again, it's good control from the Aspire Combat Academy fighter here. And, you know, as, as Scott's coach, this is what I like to see, mate. It's great when you get finishes, but if I can 
put a guy in the cage who, who literally is never really in a bad spot, then, you know, as a coach, we, we want to eliminate risk whilst achieving the win. I mean, we're looking for every, anything here to try, and that look, it looks uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I think Luke's just trying anything he can now, and I don't blame him. Why not? I mean, it does not look like a comfortable position by any stretch. You can see Scott forcing the forearm into the jaw. Just trying to give Luke something back, bringing the knee across the chest now as well. Ooh, yeah, I'd like to see a little bit more striking from Scott in this position. I feel like he's sitting on his win a little bit, which is OK, but, you know, you don't want to be stood up again. You're in a good position. Keep the ref happy, keep the judges yeah. happy. I mean, Scott is having... Uh, take his time to work his way yeah, slowly no. out of this position which is again intelligent he doesn't want to rush no. make the mistake oh have we got it that's tight it's tight it's last 10 I, i'm not sure i'm not sure if you can uh, not now that. not now great work from scott johnson and luke pemberty there great result for scott johnson though luke pemberty he's a serious prospect Oh man, like, kept Scott working the whole time. Listen, that kid should have no wind knocked out of his sails. He's, he's just starting out in his, in his young career. He's, he, he is experienced, but he's a, he's, a young, he's a young man. And he's got a great career ahead of him, especially with the team. He's got round him at SPG, Bishop Auckland there with David Grant and the team. Well, Scott Johnson takes home the belt. Right, does, it did what he needed to do. He showed, he showed his experience, he showed his class, he didn't rush. He never looked in trouble at all. No. A great performance. Seventh fight of the night for the team there, fifth win. And we'll and take that. Listen, we've matched 50-50 fights, and we've got better than 50-50 on the win ratio. Amen. So. And your new champion. Phil Turner looking happy with Scott's performance there. Uh, how, could, how could you not? That was a, a very workmanlike performance, done very well. Ladies and gentlemen, give a quick shout out to MMA Underground. Fighters to the center of the cage, please. Fighters to the center of the cage. And Eric's E-R-Y-X fight gear. Thank Ladies you and gentlemen, after five hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. All five judges score this in favor of your winner. In the blue corner, Scott Johnson. Scott Johnson, our flyweight almighty fighting championship title holder scott johnson so the aspire combat sports academy adds another regional amateur title to their trophy case with scott johnson putting in an impressive workmanlike mature performance against the dangerous